Hello, hello. Welcome to your August 2018 reading. This reading is going to be for the zodiac sign of Virgo. So what's up, Virgos? This is going to be a general reading. So this is just going to pick up on the overall energy for the month of August. So what's to come, what could be currently happening, um, just so you can get an overall feel of what to expect in the month of August, okay? So I would recommend that you guys watch this now. Um, you may want to watch it again towards the mid-month. If some of the messages aren't clicking just yet, it may just mean that it hasn't happened yet, okay, guys? So some things to note. We just had the full moon in Aquarius, and that was a lunar eclipse and also a blood moon. So that is the great purge, all right? Pretty much what's happening is that universe is clearing out right now, cleaning house in a very dramatic way, okay? And a lot of things that aren't working, a lot of things that have been bothering us that we've tried to keep bottled up are starting to come to the surface during this time. And whatever is not meant to be in your life will not no longer be, okay? So for cancers, I just did their reading, a lot of relationships that have been stressful to them are starting to fall away. Okay, but cancers have been dealing with this emotional roller coaster for a long time now. So they are kind of welcoming the purge a little bit better than most signs. Um, I would say Gemini the same. We've been purging for the past, I want to say five to six months. Okay, so this purge to us is kind of just like a final final push, okay, just to get all the little extras and sweep all the corners out. So it's not as devastating to us. Now, for Virgos, we're going to see how you guys are going to cope with this purge, okay? Not only that, but we are in Mercury retrograde. That's going to be happening until August uh, the, the 19th, I believe. Google that, okay? Fact check that. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure August the 19th will be still in Mercury retrograde. So this talks about a feeling of moving backwards, okay? A lot of us are going to be moving backwards or feeling like progress is delayed right now or that we're taking two to three steps back when we've already made so much progress. That's what the Mercury retrograde does. It takes you back to make sure no stone was unturned. You know what I mean? Like I was saying, we're cleaning out all the corners. We're doing, you know, a deep clean right now for all the zodiac signs, all right? So that's a couple of things just to keep in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the deck. I'm going to fast forward through that, and then we'll go ahead and get into the reading together. All right, let's stop here. We've got the Eight of Swords here, feeling trapped, feeling helpless in a way. Okay, that's the energy that card brings. You also have the Three of Cups jump out in your reading. So that could either be celebration or talk about third-party situations, but let's get into it. Um, also, before I start, if you guys want to stay up to date with what's going on with me, when I'll be uploading videos, or you want to just communicate with me directly, you can follow me on Instagram. It's Jess Reads Tarot, okay? So let's get into it. Okay, overall theme for the month of August is temperance, in reverse, imbalance, emotional imbalance. The world card here, this is talking about evolution, changing, moving into a next phase. All right, so this, already what I'm seeing, this purge is not going to be easy for Virgo. You guys are going to be one of the other ones who are going to have a tough time with these uh, changes, major changes. You've got two major arcana out the bat. It's almost like having to evolve, like how a snake sheds their skin, but instead of being given that time, like Cancer and Gemini was given, to kind of naturally shed their skin, it's almost like you guys are getting the skin ripped off of you. Okay, it's that polarizing, you know what I'm saying? It's that shocking. I don't want to scare you though. This is, this is happening to everyone. It's just that everyone is, is taking it in different ways. Some people have lost a lot more throughout the year, okay? But yes, 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 this is positive victory. There's going to be victory on the other side of this, this shocking, I you know, transformation that you're going through. You're definitely conflicted about it. And you're trying to remain emotionally stable. 
Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Four of Cups is your overall outcome, Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of your deck. All right, so looking at the spread so far, you've got a lot of Earth, right, with the Pentacles here, Water, Fire energy, okay? Not a lot of air energies. I don't see any swords here. So this is going to be a month about passion, uh, feelings, um, feeling like your physical world could be a little bit on the downside, like feeling like you're not able to create for some reason because you're still trying to balance out a lot of confusion and a lot of emotions. All right. And this time in August, you're going to have to now face these emotions and evaluate them because something's off balance here. Something's off balance that needs addressing, right? I see once you do decide to address it and, and confront it head on, you're going to be victorious or you're at least moving in the right direction. I feel like in your environment, there is someone here who's communicating with you or wants to communicate with you. It could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You have the Sagittarius card here. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. This could be their sun, moon, or rising sign. Or an earth sign. But you're going to be confronted with some emotions and, and things that you you didn't want to face. Okay? And it's almost like it's too much to resist. You have so much going on in your head right now. So many conflicting ideas, thoughts, emotions. And you're feeling like you're having a tough time working with others or gaining cooperation from others. You could be feeling like on your own in a way where you can't work with others right now because it's not successful. So that can apply in work relationships. Let's go ahead and clarify, okay? So let's see what temperance in reverse is representing for Virgo. This is your overall theme for the month of August 2018. Whoa, before I can even get to it. Knight of Pentacles here again in the reverse. Something's come to a standstill. Something's come to a halt. You are, you are pursuing a direction and you've come to a dead end now. And things are not gelling, right? Things are not coming together here with the two cups, trying to come together to gel, to work. And it's because there's this stagnation. And I feel like you're trying to evolve, you're trying to either having trouble evolving it or you're having trouble with the evolution of what's to come. What else can you tell me about temperance? Mm, eight of cups. See how he's walking away? I feel like you guys are going to have to switch directions here. You're going to have to walk away from projects that are not moving forward or evolving to the level that you would like it to. Things that are holding you back. Again, this is talking about you're walking through this door of change and evolution and growth. And there's things that you cannot bring with you. The universe will not allow you to bring it. You see how he's walking away and he's leaving a lot behind. He's leaving the things behind that he cannot take with him. The things that are causing him to be so imbalanced. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles since that came up twice. What is the Knight of Pentacles representing? So this is kind of the force. This is the reason why everything is happening in that position. So why... Is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse the reason for why all of this is happening? Nine of Wands.
This talks about someone feeling very exposed and insecure. Feeling like they're not being protected or feeling like they're fighting for nothing. One more for the Knight of Pentacles. The Tower. So again, something shocking. Something's come to a screeching halt. The walls came down. It's almost like someone pulled back the curtains on you and revealed that you're on a path to nowhere in a way. And I know that's going to piss some Virgos off. <laughs> you guys don't like to waste your time. Neither do I as a Gemini. But you're, you were on a path that was not progressing. So this could be like in your career. Maybe you feel like you've reached a dead end there. You've reached a dead end in life period and you're being faced with that right now. That's what this, this new moon in Aquarius is going to bring up for you. You're being faced with the fact that you're traveling in a direction that's getting you nowhere. And it's telling you now you have to stop. And you've probably lost some things and gone through this tower moment where it was like, shit. You're starting to realize that you can't continue in the same direction anymore. You have to move into a different direction to regain balance. Let's see why the world is representing your challenge. We'll do that again. Why is the world's card representing the challenge for Virgo? And remember, the world is evolution. The world is moving to a new stage. It's almost like a graduation type of energy. Yes. Again here. Look at these repeating cards. Victory, victory, victory. This evolution for you is going to be victorious, Virgo. I know you don't like to switch directions once you made your mind up on your path, but this is going to be good. This evolution is positive. You're having trouble seeing the positivity in it, seeing the success, but you will. Towards mid-month, you will. You'll see that things are actually going in your favor, even though it doesn't feel like it is. Six of Pentacles. So again, with the balance, the balancing act here, something's not, something's not a balance, something's not fair, something's not equal. The universe wants to remove all of that. They want to remove the things that don't balance out in your life. One-sided situations. Situations where you've been taken advantage of as well, could be financially. You have two, you have three sixes now. Just notice that six of wands, six of pentacles, and then six of wands again. I wonder if you had that last time. So we'll look in uh, my little tarot journal. This is the synchronicity. So 666, it says things are out of balance. No shit. <laughs> we just finished talking about that. Things are out of balance. You could be focusing more on material than spirit, okay? By material, that means not only on money and possessions, but I feel like you focus a lot on the win, too. Or focus on the investment you made here, right? The Knight of Pentacles. You're focused on this material thing, which is your investment. And you're more focused on that than what your intuition is guiding you to do, what your spirits are guiding you to do what's in your best interest. You're more focused on you've already made a decision, you've made an investment, you're going to stick with it now. But that investment is getting you nowhere. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this victory is. And I apologize if you guys hear background noise or like air. It's the laptop trying to cool itself down, but I want to keep the momentum going. I don't want to stop the video, so let's keep going, okay? So let's see what the victory is here in the near future. This is how your situation is going to progress, okay, which is positive. Six of Wands. You're going to gain some sort of victory in something. You're going to gain recognition. What is this victory for Virgo? Two of Swords. 
This could have to do with a decision. There goes the sword, the, the air energy we were looking for. This is like being at a crossroads. And now you're going in the, the right direction. Now your life is moving in the right direction. What else? Can you tell me about the six of wands? What is this? What else is this victory? The chariot. The queen of pentacles. So again, forward positive movement. Victorious movement. Movement towards stability. So now you went from the knight of pentacles to the queen of pentacles, where you're feeling very much accomplished. You feel, you're going to be feeling in a better place. That's what awaits you on the other side of these changes. Not only are you going to be moving in a positive direction, but you're going to be moving quickly and victoriously. Let's see why your energy is the Three of Pentacles. So your victory here, you have the seven, of, the seven of Cups. Your victory here, I feel like, is stability. Your victory here is vindication. Your victory here, I just wanted to go back because I feel like I didn't answer that question. Your victory here is coming out of this dead-end road and moving to a road that has more possibilities for you, possibilities for growth, expansion, commitment, money, leveling up. You're going to be sh shifting gears, and you're not going to like shifting gears because the reason you're going to shift gears is because you're going to do it based off of something shocking, something unexpected, and you don't like that. Nobody likes that. That's why you guys are a little bit pissed about it because it wasn't an easy shift. But once you get on this new path, this new road, you're going to see that it was, it was worth it. You're going to see that this was something that had to happen. All right. Three of Pentacles here. We saw the Seven of Cups come out, but let's do it one more time. There goes some more sword energy, this Queen of Swords. Okay, this is air representing the zodiac sign of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Queen of Swords. So there's a person here that you're not able to work with. Okay, you're not getting cooperation. Or you're not, you don't feel like talking talking it out or, or, or something with someone who you feel like you're, you, don't, you have a lack of cooperation with. What else can you tell me about this energy? This is your energy, this is how you feel. I feel like you're also not bitter either. I feel like something didn't work out, you're not bitter about it. Four of Pentacles, you're letting go. You're letting go of what does not work. So you're going to embrace this. You're going to look at it as a failure because you feel like you've worked on it and you've, you've put time and attention into it, but you're going you're gonna to release it. Page of Swords. Cutting ties, there goes more air energy. Sun card in reverse. Not seeing a lot of positivity in something. You're dropping things that are not positive for you. That's your energy. You're releasing. Making cuts. Because I think you're going to start to see that these changes are what you needed. In your environment, you have the Page of Cups. So who's this Page of Cups in Virgo's environment, if not Virgo? Who's this Page of Cups? What is it representing in Virgo's environment? This is your immediate physical environment, your surroundings. Okay, Two of Cups. Like I said, you're getting some messages, some love messages from someone there's someone in your environment who's significant to you. Could again be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's someone in your environment who's better suited. Or you're going to receive communication. You're going to get the, the communication that you want 
that's why you're feeling so victorious. You're getting the information and communication you want. Someone's going to start to see eye to eye with you. So you're going to stop working on something or stop doing something that you feel like is not worth your time. And then in your environment, you have offers. You have communication. You have like a suitor or someone in your environment. What else can you tell me about this page of cups? In Virgo's environment. What else can you tell me about this page of cups? Five of pentacles in reverse. This could be someone you know. Someone you, you, you went through a period of struggle with. And now you're out of it. Or this is someone, again, who recognizes you now. With the six of pentacles. I mean six of wands. Someone who's recognizing you. Who once made you feel left out in the cold or made you feel ostracized or made you feel like you weren't noticed. This person is noticing you now in your environment. You could be doing the same to someone else. Ooh. Yes, Virgo, Ten of Cups. This person wants it all with you, okay? The family, the kids, the everything. They don't want to struggle no more. So there's someone in your environment, you're going to start moving towards that direction. Could be someone new, could be someone you already know, but you're moving in a positive direction. Is this someone new? We're going to get to the love part <laughs> in a second. Is this someone new? Is this someone Virgo knows? Is this someone new? Oh, too many. So that full card there in reverse. This is someone you, you've been in battle with. So probably not someone new. The emperor. Someone who's a little bit stubborn, dictator type of person. Could be an Aries. Someone older than you. Who's in your environment. Ooh. Ace of Cups. There's someone in your environment. You could know this person. Older type figure who's, who's made up their mind. They've made a decision about you. And they want it all with you. They want to be with you. Nice, Virgos. Overall energy is the Four of Cups. At least you guys got some love coming in. Four of Cups is the overall energy. What is that for Virgos? It's, I mean, not the overall energy. It's the overall outcome, the likely outcome. What are we reflecting on here with these four of cups? What are we looking at? Three of wands. We're reflecting on expansion and growth and our next steps. We're taking the time to stop. We're stopping in our tracks here, right? I don't know why I'm saying we. I'm not a Virgo, but you know what I'm saying. So you're stopping in your tracks here and you got to sit down now and evaluate your next moves, evaluate your direction, evaluate where you are going right now. So that's what this month is going to be about for you. Evaluating this, this, this change in direction that your life is taking, if it hasn't happened already. Ace of Cups, this wants to keep coming out. There's some emotions here that you need to release. So the emotions here that you've been ignoring that you need to release, you're going to have to do that. <laughs> if you're not doing it already, you're going to have to do that this month. All right, let's look at love. All right, so let's do some love here with the romance angels. So let's see. This is going to be the overall energy Surrounding your love life specifically for single Virgos and Virgos in relationships. So what's the card that Virgos always get, right? <laughs> Let go of control issues. <laughs> so let's see if that comes up again, okay? So this is going to be the overall energy, love energy for Virgos who are single. What is the energy for Virgos who are single in August? Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming in for that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, no doubt. No doubt, Virgo, someone's coming in to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you, probably revealing how they feel, probably saying they don't want to fight or struggle anymore. 
you're thinking about some type of fight or struggle that you've had with someone. What else can you tell me for single Virgos in the month of August? What's the energy around their love life in the month of August? Single Virgos. What's the energy for single Virgos? Ooh. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations. What? A Virgo with a type? No way. <laughs> Let go of control issues, okay? This person, your soulmate is not going to be the exact way you wanted them to be. And if they F up or step out of line, keep an open mind. Have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations with them. They're, somebody's having it for sure with you if it's not you doing it to someone else. What's going on for Virgos in relationships or dating? What's going on for Virgos in relationships or Virgos who are dating in the month of... August, oops, oops, August 2000, we'll put that in the back. August 2018, it's got a clean pop out for Virgos, all right, cool. So stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. I think you guys are going through a rough patch for sure here, but you're going to come out the other side victorious. What else? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so there's going to be some things about your partner that's going to be revealed. Or you're going to be revealing some things to your partner. So you can really get to the root. Right? Because I can see this here in your environment. There's someone here who's talking about their emotions with you. Okay? You have to give your relationship a chance. And then you also have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So I feel like for those of you in relationships, there will be some type of separation, but this might be a short-lived separation, okay? Stay optimistic and give your relationship a chance, okay? Get to know them more, them deeply. Understand them more, all right? For others of you, you guys can just play and be separating. But I feel like there's so many conflicting cards here talking about be optimistic, give it a chance, I feel like this person will come back and communicate with you. All right, and last but not least, we're going to do Wisdom of the Golden Path. This is going to be your overall advice and what universe wants you to know, Virgos, in the month of August 2018. Let's wrap up the reading with this. Looks okay. Ooh, I like that. I haven't seen that one before. Field of Dreams. I already know what that card's about. About being in the right place at the right time and not even noticing it, okay? Positive Future. I really want to read this one. You have a positive future coming. Keep an open mind. You have two cards here about being optimistic. Keep an open mind. Don't let your mind trick you right now because things are going bad. Let's read Positive Future. So this is what the universe wants you to know, okay? Here we go. It says, your present situation is determined by your past actions. To change your future requires you to make different decisions today. Live life as though every moment is a miracle. And remember that if one door closes, another opens. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Follow your heart and intuition and know that everything in your life unfolds at the best possible time in the most beneficial way. You are radiant and beautiful, full of light. Be inspired by love and have confidence in your ability to create the life that you dream of. Put your ideas into action, for they have the ability to manifest endless blessings through the endless light of love and creativity you hold within. Everything around you is made up of energy. So if you want to attract positive things into your life, start by giving off some positive energy. Remember that everything is first created in the mind. Have a vision of what it is you would like to create. Set clear goals for all you would like to accomplish. For in doing this, you will achieve more in a shorter period of time. A goal is a dream with a deadline, okay? So you guys have a positive outcome. If you're being steered in a different direction, embrace it because you're being guided. You're being redirected. 
And you're going to have to, you know, if you're having issues with that, sit down and, and look through it, sort through it, analyze it like you do so well. So you can realize that this is for the best. You're, <clears throat> you're going through a cleansing right now. You're going through a cleansing. Stay optimistic about it because it's for your best, okay? All right, Virgo. So that is going to be your August reading. If you want to book a private reading with me, there's a link in the description. You can click that, purchase the reading. I get back to you within 48, uh, 24 to 48 hours. And I hope you guys have a great August, and I'll see you in September. Take care.